So a project that I'm working on, on our homestead, is building some fencing. Now we're on top of a mountain, a rocky mountain, and most of this ground is just straight rock. There's very thin layer of soil on top. So it makes fencing a little bit difficult because we can't really drive fence posts down into the ground. So fencing that I'm trying to do and create is using resources that we have readily available on the property. One of those being rocks because we are on the top of a mountain. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys uh, the process of building a rock wall. I got this idea from a book called Lasagna Gardening by Patricia Lanza. In her book, she's using primarily flat stones, like something like this. I have some flat stones, but most of mine are giant sandstone. So I have to get a little bit creative. I'm gonna show you how exactly this is made. And it's actually also going to double as not just a fence, but as a planter box too. First, I gotta put on my apron because it gets very messy hauling rocks. I love this apron. I wear it for yard chores and for cooking. And it was made by made and given to me by my sweet friend Jen. Her Instagram is called Off Grid Higa H Y G G E Homestead on Instagram, and she makes these beautiful aprons in Canada and ships them. So. If you're interested in a beautiful, lovely linen apron, she's your girl. Okay, so here's a more close-up of what I got going on so far for the rock fence. So, how you do this, you make kind of like a rectangular box. The first layer of stones along the ground. I tried to use mostly flat stones for the first layer. And you go make a rectangular box and then you're supposed to kind of layer over top. Um, I didn't do that very well on my subsequent layers, but I'm trying to do that now to where you lay over um, the cracks that you've already laid and then it's gonna leave you with a hole in the middle. So what you do with the hole in the middle is you fill it with these smaller unusable rocks. Hey, sister, did you bring me some, what is that? Chicken feed. Chicken feed? Yep. So basically what you do, not only is this building a practical fence and planter box, as I'll explain, but it's also helping me to get rid of all of these rocks that are just laying around the property. And a lot of them are very useful for things like building garden beds, but then we have several of these small ones that can't really be used for much. So what you do is you fill them in, just toss them into the middle. I'm working on getting my fence built up first and then I'm gonna fill it with rubble but after that you dump in soil and then spray it with water spray it down so it kind of fits in the cracks and then you plant on the top of it so I'm gonna plant things like yarrow thyme um, lavender so more like herbs herb type of plants and again this is I got this from Patricia Lanza's book on lasagna gardening and she has several lists in the book of uh, things that you can plant in a rock garden like this. So I'm trying to keep the top pretty level so it's easier to stack. It's kind of like Tetris. <laughs> Real life Tetris. It's like why do you need games when you can just build things out in nature? Okay, get some little rocks. This is also 
Very nice workout. Arm workout. Making your arms very strong. So as you can see, there's kind of some gaps here and there. So I take some of the bigger, smaller rocks and it's kind of like a puzzle. Just try to squeeze some in and fill in those gaps. This side's looking pretty good. Let me check the other side. There's a gap right there. Let me find a rock. This one's probably gonna be too big for that gap. Yep, I'm gonna need to find a smaller one. See, I have some littler rocks filling holes, bugging holes. I might even come back with cob eventually if this doesn't work and try to mortar in some of the holes. So far, it's looking pretty good. There it is. I think I'm going to do one more foot and then it'll be done. So one more, probably one more layer of rock and it will be completed. Well, sort of. I'll need to fill in this gap with more little rocks, which will probably take quite some time. It's slow work, but it's good work. <laughs> 